Hello everybody, welcome to another printmaking adventure with Art Whisper 88. This is a doodle that I did and um, today I'm taking inspiration from a work by the architect Le Corbusier. Uh, few people know that he's not only an architect but a painter and he was a printmaker. So this inspiration piece is called, I hope I pronounce this properly, Femme à la main levée, Woman with the Raised Hand. It's a lithograph done in 1954, and I was attracted to the color scheme, which is uh, fairly minimal and very beautiful. So here is a, a rough sketch of the structure or scaffolding for this piece. And I'm going to use my Posca marker and scribe out the textures here. Now, since this is a uh, acrylic-based, this is not alcohol-based, it takes a little bit longer to dry. So I have to use my desk fan to dry this faster. Uh, but I find that an acrylic-based pan has darker marks than the Sharpie. So they have each different uh, characteristics. So anyway, let me let this dry and then I will be back for the next step. Okay, here's the next step. I have here my warm-up exercises and I have black tissue paper. So I will pre-paste certain elements here. So these are very bold forms that I'm going to place on my paper as a first layer. And then the intention is to mount these, let these dry, and then superimpose colors on top of it. 
as you will see in a few moments. So let me just get these guys mounted. So this is really a very large, bold graphic area here, black. This will serve as the scaffolding. So this is a mixed media project where I have collage combined with a jelly plate and different layers of colors. Now, if this were a traditional printmaking process, I would have to print these images in black with a printing press. But I'm getting around that since I don't have a printing press. I'm using the jelly plate as my device to create images. Okay, so technically this is Sheen Cole. I'm putting down a very thin layer of collage with tissue paper and then applying color on top of it. Okay. Maybe one more. One more element. Okay, so the, the concept here is to think, learn how to think in layers. Uh, I have to figure these out beforehand to think of uh, the image, break it down into layers and separate them. So this is the first layer of collage with the black elements. And then I will combine that with the Posca marker 
on the gel plate, which you will see in a moment. So for the first layer of color, I'm going to place a zone of parchment here in the middle and then some raw sienna on the top and on the bottom. So I always like doing this, uh, it's called a split fountain technique, where you combine two colors in one pass. In fact, I want to mention the color palette in this piece is very limited. It's limited to black, raw sienna, and maybe some third color, which I haven't decided yet. It's uh, based on the color combination of the inspiration piece. Again, I'm going to add my own scribble marks that's what printmaking is all about is making marks Okay, before I, before I lay the paper on, I'm going to try something. Now these paper masks will expose what's underneath.
Okay, so here is the piece with the collage. I'm going to take the template off. Okay, here let me do a long shot so you can see it in its entire So that's the first layer with the black elements. And this will be the second layer with the raw sienna and parchment. Hopefully this will not cause the collage to come off. Sometimes it happens because they're all water-based. So I'm going easy on the pressure because this is a different technique. And since there's a lot of moisture involved with the paint, you cannot help uh, have the paper buckle a little bit because it's absorbing the water content. Okay, I will leave this for five minutes and I will be right back. Okay, it's been five minutes. Let's see what we have here. Keeping my fingers crossed. You see how the paper masks reveal the black that's underneath. Now the Posca marker did not transfer that much, but that's okay. So here is the first layer. So you can see where the paper mask exposed the black collage from underneath. So creating this uh, interplay of what's in the background and what's in the foreground. So we'll air dry this and then continue to the next step. Unfortunately, these uh, paper strips can't be reused because they fall apart.
going to see if I can retrieve this ghost print. It's one of my squeaky prayers. This area here seems to be drying out.
Okay, let's see what we have here. It's a very rich texture. You see now on the second pull with the ghost print, the Posca markers are starting to come out. The textures are really Remarkable. How cool is that? You may not even need anything else. So I'll air dry this and then work on the first piece. Okay, I'm ready for my next layer. Now I have cut some new shapes with my new uh, plastic dividers and I'm glad that they are tinted so it's easy to see them on the plate. So anyway I want to use burnt sienna as the main color here. And I'm going to introduce a tiny bit of color, bright color. Vermilion. This would just give like a little bit of a spot of bright color. Not too much, just a spot. Now this uh, burnt sienna is semi-transparent, so hopefully it will show what's underneath.
Okay, I think I got them all. And that's the advantage of having stencils that are not clear. You can see them easily. I just have to clean up this smear here. There. Okay, so here is the first piece with the second layer. Now, ideally, this first piece should be perfectly dry, but in the interest of time, because I'm filming, it's still slightly damp. Because when, when the paper is perfectly dry, it's perfectly flat, and it's much easier to, to apply another layer. But I'll try it this way. I think it will be fine. Okay, this is the exciting part. And thanks to my new printing bed, the registration really is spot on. Very cool. Check this out. I think I'll call this done. It has all the elements that I wanted, the textures, layers, and it's a very limited palette. And sometimes when you limit your color choices to two or three, or maximum four, the print comes out very effective, very striking. Especially when you're working with graphic elements like this in an abstract composition, sometimes less color is more effective than having so many colors. It gets distracting. Here is a close-up. There's the collage, and it's working with the top layers. And you can see the texture created by the brayer, like a woodcut. That's why I'm not, I mean, I try to keep the brayer clean, but I don't think it's necessary to be overly fastidious with keeping the brayer like spotless uh, unless you know that's what you want but it does the job
Now let me show you the ghost print. It's a totally different piece, even if it was done consecutively. Now this is a little more would say mysterious. So anyway, I hope you like this video and uh, once again, I want to say thank you for all you wonderful subscribers. Please check out my new website artwhisper88.com for other pieces that you'd like to view or purchase. Uh, it helps to keep my channel going. Thank you so much and I hope to see you next time.